go overboard. Do you think that now that trend is now dying out, we also saw a lot of flops like gold, for example, uh, where it was all about nationalism only. But I think beyond a certain point of time, the audience will not keep on taking movies like Uri. Uri is, of course, an exceptional, uh, you know, exception, I would say, is because it was such an instance and the movie was so well made. So You wait till films titled Pulwama will release. Because they, they, those titles have been registered. Right. Right after the attack, because Uri made so much money, there was this piece in Huffington Post, I think, which spoke about how people are registering, registering Uri 2.0, yeah, Surgical Strike 2.0, Pulwama, Badla, all of that. So it's, I don't think it's going to end. And what we're seeing, art imitates life, Akash. Mm. What we're seeing right now, going on in our country, in our capital city, bloodlust is there. It's heightened. And our cinema will reflect it. I am not very happy at that prospect. I am not. It's come to a point where watching a film like Chapak is considered anti-national. Because the actor decided to go and stand in solidarity with university students. So that anger uh, is bursting forth. That kind of agitation. Uh, it's really unfortunate because we are a free nation still. Everybody is allowed to make whatever the heck kind of cinema they want to make. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you need to ban films like uh, Surgical Strike. You make whatever the heck films you want to make. I will continue to call it out. Don't tell me to shut up, I won't tell you to stop. But this is not going away. Mm -hmm. I really, really don't think that this is going to go away. Okay. Another